Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. This is in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Have a safe and happy Sunday morning when you wake up after you have gotten your nightly rest and sleep. I'm going to do this video and then I'm going to be getting on my pajamas and heading to bed. But since I didn't put out anything on Saturday, I thought I would grace y'all with my presence in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Okay? So y'all can have me with y'all coffee, tea, or whatever y'all choice of beverage in the morning time. Or y'all can have me with breakfast. Alright? I don't care. Just tune in to me. Alright? And definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay? And like, like, like. Alright? But you know I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Alright? But let's get on into it. Atlanta Black Star stopped over, had lunch with me, and told me I should put out this story. Since I was already doing stories on Miss Chili and the girls' cruise. Okay? It was just like her reprieve to get back out, shine in the entertainment world and pretty much she just set up there like a little fuddy dub but i can say she got her mother instincts intact because she definitely gained a daughter yes she did she gained a daughter while doing girls cruise okay and we know that was b simone and pretty v probably okay but mostly b simone if you don't know who i'm talking about or, or referencing girls cruise go to my archive and see a uh, few videos uh, I made on that particular show. But, honey, right now I'm telling T-Boss, get her child. You would think she got on a new, fresh sitcom show. She would have a better attitude. But now, y'all, she getting on this little college student saying, ah, she's not my doppelganger, meaning exact carbon copy of her. She don't look like me. Everybody think they look like me. I'm like, now, come on, Chili. You're half her age. You should be blessed that she is gorgeous, okay? Uh, the girl they're talking about looks similar to you. No, she's not a dead ringer, but they could have compared you to somebody else that was unflattering. You get it? Got it? Good. And you know you had already got in trouble about Queen B. Um, later on in this year by talking about her and, and, and people had to come for you. Come on, girl. It, it, it was no harm. It was no foul on the plate. It was just an innocent compliment. And like I said, the girl they was comparing you to is gorgeous. Okay? So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you, chilly girl. I don't know because I'm like, your TLC days are well, well behind you. If you didn't do all the things you wanted to do when Miss Left Eye was still on this earth and y'all were just slamming it in the entertainment field, uh, as far as the music industry, I don't know what to tell you, girl. I know y'all got some bad contracts, but girl, I mean, even now, just looking at old groups like Brownstone and SWV, just to give just name a few and make a little comparisons. Them girls can't move like they did back in the day. Okay, they still got a little uh, vocals going on, but it's called maturity. It's called producing, writing, uh, getting local acts and and making money off them. You know, it's like you solidifying yourself in another part of the business industry and not just on front street with the mic and want to entertain people i mean come on you're seasoned baby it's time for you to resort to other measures of making money if you want to be in the entertainment field i mean t boss is quite frankly she just want to be a loving mother and be in tune with that and making here and there appearances okay doing her on the um what do you call it she sits on her stool and plays her kind of like acapella type music and, and get it going and and doing all those things plus i'm sure i'm sure she's still writing for people i mean get a hustle girl i thought the whole thing with girls cruise was to reinvent yourself show us another settled side to you but i guess you still going for your use you, you haven't let it go and you know i really hardly think tlc would have still been uh together uh it's more y'all were having a make up the breakup session when left i was living because y'all had a little trouble in the camp everybody wanted to do their little solo thing and left i was putting both ut bars 
on blast about who was the real creative person in the group. I mean, she was already doing her solo thing and trying to uh, set herself apart from you all. Because, yes, she was feeling herself. Yes, she was a good rapper. Yes, she damn looked good. Yes, she was flowing a lot of people in the entertainment industry that could definitely put her on. But she definitely was getting a part of the solo side of the entertainment business and doing real well. Her only downfall was that darn rice. That she was just obsessed with that brother, and we know she liked the torch stuff. Okay, remember his house that went up in flames? Okay, so she had her share of misdemeanors <laughs> because she definitely was straight up riding for Mr. Rice. Okay, ain't heard too much from him. I know he's retired by now, but oh well, moving on from that. But I just want to get on into this story because I can't tear it too long. Don't want to anyway. Okay. But, um, you know, I'm a girl over there. I just keep hitting out them bangers. They ain't music. I'm talking about articles talking about celebrities. And we still look at Chili as a celebrity, you know, from a girl's group. And then she's doing other little things, peering on shows here and there, cooking shows, doing a good deal, doing a good thing, getting her coin here and there. Uh, I don't like to say coin. I like to say dollars, okay? Because if anybody were working for some coins, they wouldn't be out there trust and believe. We ain't peddling, okay? We trying to make some money that keep us in our livelihood that we like being in, the lifestyle we have come accustomed to. So, I, you know, I'm just going to start saying money, greenbacks, dollars, okay? Benjamins, all right? Let's go there. That's what the OGs like. We don't like coins. We don't fool into all that clink, clink, chain. They don't like it in church either, <laughs> And the offering pale. They don't like to hear that cha chank cha chank them, them coins. No. They want to hear flowing of the dollar bill. Okay? Don't make that your God. Just use it to get through daily life. Okay? Don't worship the almighty dollar. Okay? For the love of money. Make you do some strange things. Okay? To keep getting that change. But moving on. Okay? We're going to go to this article. Like I said, my girl Kirsten Willis is cutting up on a positive note over there. Bringing out all the celebrity entertainment gossip that you can more than likely digest. Okay? And then spit it out to see and say what you want to feel about it. Because it's your opinion and it's all opinions. Okay? Everything I give you on my channel... It may or may not be true, but then again, it could be, all right? So, I'm just putting you in the know, just like when you at the grocery store and you're checking out and you're just, your mind is just wondering about when they're going to get to you so you can get the hell out of there and get home and prepare food for your family or just get home, okay? But you're out there thinking and looking around while you're waiting in line to be checked out. And you go, you uh, mosey around all these different magazines and you pick them up and start reading articles. That's just the same. It's just on a different platform. It's on video. All right. With somebody giving you their commentary on what they feel. We all make assumptions. We all make opinions. Okay. And sometimes when you tune in, you have to agree to disagree with your commentary. And that's okay. Because just like everybody have mouths and tongues, teeth. Well, some of them don't have teeth, but y'all get the replacement teeth. So we're going to count that as the same. We're going to count that as the same. We all have opinions, okay? Broad spectrum opinions. All the way around the world opinions. Dumb opinions. Good opinions. It's just opinions, okay? Get with it. All right. So we're going to get into the who, why, how, where, and when. When it comes to celebrity news and entertainment and their lifestyle and how they get down on this social media. Okay, that's where we're going. That's where we're going with. And Chili is the one up to bats. All right. And Lord knows she done committed several files, several files on the field. Okay. Because one, we don't go and we, when somebody giving us a compliment, we don't nice, nasty accept it. We accept it or we don't. Most of the time, it's good. When somebody's comparing you and the person is just outstanding or they've done a lot in the community or they're just gorgeous or whatever, that's a compliment. Don't go and, and, and throw salt on the compliment that was given to you. That's all I'm saying. That's all the other people were saying, Chili. Take the compliment and move on whether you agree with it or not. Don't let folks know your real truth, okay? Especially when you're counting on them to pay your bills, all right? You're in the entertainment world. That means you're a commodity out there. You have to always suck it up. 
sometimes, okay? And don't express your real feelings, especially if you're trying to get money out of the public. You see what I'm saying? You're a commodity. It's about uh, bargaining and selling, okay? You know how it goes, Chili. You're not new to the game, all right? But getting back to Atlanta Black Star, okay, and their vlog channel and their magazine. Okay, and getting back to Kirsten Willis, because we got to throw props at her for doing the darn thing and putting out the story. Her title reads as, oh, bitter woman shade. Okay, oh, bitter woman shade. You know, when you get in your 50s, everybody counts you out to dry. We all did it when we was in our teens and our t early 20s. We looked at 50 and 60s just being over the hill, almost in the grave, one foot in, one foot out. And Lord, when you hit 70, you just really grandmother material. Okay? <laughs> so, I get it. It's just a play on words. I don't take no offense to it. Especially if I'm showing gray hair. Okay? And I and I endorse or I in, in, embrace my gray, grayness. Because I look at it as wisdom. And I look at it I look at it as people don't work the hell out of me. And it shows. Okay? Especially around my temples. But every experience I experience, I'm grateful for it. So, and you know, you get tired of just putting chemicals on your head because gray is going to come back. And in a lot of areas, you didn't think it would show up at. Okay, just giving you wisdom that you can use. All right. But getting back to the article, the article reads as their title that Kirsten Willis uh, put it as, Oh, bitter woman shade. Chili claps back after getting dragged for saying fan doesn't look like her. Okay. I'm still trying to get over the old bitter woman shade. <laughs> Woo! But on Girls Trip, if you did catch some of um, Chilla's antics, she did look kind of old and bitter. And I'm just saying her persona, not her looks. I mean, she looked like she was aging towards the latter part of the sitcom on Girls Cruise. But, you know, maybe she was just worried about something. Maybe she just didn't want to be away from her young adult son, Tron. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, hmm, um, no. In so many words, Rosanda Chili Thomas had that response when a Twitter user recently shared that she often gets compared to one third of TLC. On Wednesday, a Washington State University woman's basketball team player tweeted she is typically likened to Chili. I get I look like Chili a lot. What y'all think? The baller asked her followers while also tagging Chili herself in the September 4th post. Included in the tweet were a few photos of the student athlete juxtaposed against the waterfall singer for reference okay so she respectfully y'all had did the right thing and tagging chili but she wasn't ready for the comeback that chili had for and i'm sorry i apologize for chili and her actions she's on she's not on an even keel right now oh uh, well you know just disregard her in a sense just disregard her she's getting old and she's you know, getting somewhat out of the limelight of the music industry entertainment world. And it's okay. She just, you know, here and there, you know, she had her love of her life, I guess, Austin, Dallas, and it, or Dallas, Austin. It didn't work out. That's Tron's father. Then she was messing with Usher and then Wayne Brady and then, uh, what's her name, Nick Cannon. And I don't know if she was messing with Nella or not. But she's been with a lot of successful black musicians in the entertainment field. And none of them have really worked out. So maybe she's just kind of, you know, a bit on the side that she haven't had time to just sit her little self down and let God send her somebody. She keeps saying she is, but we keep seeing her do other things in these social media streets. So just take it lightly that she is getting old and she wants someone in her life. And maybe once she finds or gets Mr. Right in her life, she can calm down. Maybe he can center her and let her know, hey, everybody's getting old. We all getting old. And, you know, if you want to call yourself seasoned and wisdom um, propped up, uh, individual do that if it makes you feel good but just as as well as we get young we're born young we're beautiful we're vivacious and all that we're going to get old we're going to get feeble and we're going to get discarded some of us some of us not okay 
But it just is what it is. And Chile's not doing so well with that revelation. But going back to the article, okay, it says um, Chile, who's currently stars on VH1 Girls Cruise, caught wind of the post and says she believes having a few characteristics in common doesn't mean the two are doppelgangers. If anybody don't know what doppelgangers are, let me educate you. It's just a word of saying somebody is your exact twin. I mean, carbon copy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yes. Okay. That's all it means. Okay. Uh, moving on. It says long, straight, wavy hair and similar and in similar skin tone doesn't mean you look like someone. You're a doll, but we don't look alike. And she gave the little uh smiley face. She, Chilly tweeted first, and see, Chilly, that's a, and then they, they show you where she tweeted and um the hoop. I think her name is Hoopser Three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see it as a nice, nasty shade. And, 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 and you know, everybody has their way of responding to people. And in hindsight, we tend to look back and say, yeah, we shouldn't have got Twitter fingers and, 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 and sped and responded so quick. We should have thought it through. But, you know, she says she gets uh, many chili. She gets talked about that she looks like everybody. And she doesn't. And, you know, I'm just like... Oh, have you learned not anything by living your life through social media, Chile? Oh, my goodness. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the post led to the 90s girl group star to catch lots of heat from other Twitter users. This why you ain't got a man now. That's one comment I'm saying. Your mouth is smart. All right. Chili gets upset every time somebody says someone looks like her. That's another commenter. Another one said, that was old, bitter woman shade. Chili, you are too much. Okay, there we are with the emojis going on, crying and laughing at the same time. Uh, pretty much a diss, but okay, we're moving on. Another commenter said, as such, Chili was forced to hit back by quoting, tweeting a user who initial reaction damn y'all going hard on chilling these comments she did compliment the girl at the end she probably tired of, of getting told she looked like people when they really don't look like her uh the supporter said and of course uh chili chimes in and say yeah exactly and she is pretty never said she wasn't okay however others on the platform didn't like up didn't let up with many saying the remarks was passive aggressive Tight words can easily be mistaken as passive aggressiveness. That's what your response came off as. It came off as a little passive aggressive. Okay? It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Never, nevertheless, you could have said she's a doll and kept it pushing. But you wanted to be salty, bitter towards something that wasn't that deep, sis. One person who has been compared to Chili, whom she approves of, is actress and current Strez and Sarah and Kiki Host Kiki Palmer, back when Palmer portrayed Chili in TLC biopic Crazy Sexy Cool. Uh, she opened up about the support she gave or got from the singer on set. She actually had seen some of my work before, so she liked me as an actress as well. Palmer told Pop Sugar in 2013 when we were doing the choreography. Chili was like, that's perfect. That's so me. Okay, so ah, Chili, we can't direct everything in our life, especially when we're actually living life. It's not put on a stage for people to look at. You know, life just happens. And they were just giving you a compliment upon compliments. I mean, the people that they're referring you that you look like are gorgeous individuals. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say, Chili. I have to say they were right and you were wrong. I mean, baby girl, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. At least they didn't show you looking at, uh, looking like somebody that was too tall of fun or they definitely didn't have no type of stipulation. They, they were white or something like that. You know, I'm talking about like a far out stretch of comparison, but this wasn't that much so. Oh, Chili, I tell you, you are something else. You're something else on Girls Cruise. I just throw all prayers up for you, baby. I mean, I think you're suffering from the complex of getting old and people discarding you. That's what I get. And maybe I'm wrong, but that's just my opinion. But that's all I had for this video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some reference or some positiveness going on. That sometimes we do get old and we do feel certain ways. People in the industry that are doing something or young, youthful things. And we tend to forget that we once were there, but we want to still be there. 
can't do it, Chili. You got to press on, baby. But uh, enjoy the video, and I'll get back with you again sometime today. Be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.